Excellent, so we've uh, taken Hadlow Keep. Uh, no, we haven't. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, we've, we've, we've just destroyed the Iron Islanders force um, in Hadlow Keep. Or outside it, rather. I doubt they'd let us inside to conduct that kind of uh, madness. So, the Iron Islanders are in the Broken Sea now. They look to be sailing past dawn. Um, so I should probably think about reinforcing my troops soon. But in the meantime, I'm probably going to get my force that's stuck uh, without much in the way of reinforcements. Ah, yes, see, they're disembarking currently. I should probably... Oh! Uh, oh dear. Right, now we have... They have the 10,000 men in Wendwater fighting my 1,000 men from Faring Cross. They have a territory disadvantage. Um, and I, I don't know. I could send my men to join the Faring Cross troops and I would have a, a territorial advantage. But I think I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to keep my men out of that because it's not really going to affect me much if those Faring Cross troops get taken out. And I can... I can always uh, send more units over. I always have more men to throw at the situation, so it's fine. This is very much, uh, it's not so much a case of whether or not uh, it'll be a victory for me, because I'm pretty determined to win that province back. It's more a case of limiting damage to my army. Uh, now, hopefully the fighting in Wendwater which seems to be going on longer than I anticipated. Oh, there we go. They got annihilated pretty damn quick. Um, I should have enough time to make it to Stone Dance. Uh, not to Stone Dance, Sharp Point. Uh, a little close. They should be there. Yeah, there we go. All right, so they're on Sharp Point now. There's some Iron Islanders heading uh, right for me. Uh, they do have the advantage of numbers as well, but they might stop to try and take Stone Dance rather than take on my forces. In the meantime, we're going to get uh, about 4,000 men, uh, yeah, 4,500 uh, of these troops onto these ships here. I've kind of split my navy. I I felt as though it was a good idea because I could evacuate some troops if need be, but to be honest, I don't have enough ships to evacuate them all, so that kind of anticipates some kind of catastrophe. So I should have, might as well have taken all my ships. Uh, but there we go, we've taken out about 500 Iron Islanders. Uh, we've got... More Iron Islanders heading for us from Sharp Point. They will get there on the 1st of March. And we're going to let that happen. Because I have a ship with 4,000... 4,500... I have a ship... Oh, there we go. Never mind. Uh, the men weren't actually on that ship. They were on those ships. But now we have uh, 100 ships with 4,500 men on it. And, of course, Stannis himself, who, like the badass uh, guy he is, is going to intervene at the at the pivotal moment. Now, there we go. Okay, so we have the territory advantage because we had men in Sharp Point stationed there already, which means that we don't lose anything from having troops land there. As you can see, they don't have any commanders, and we also have a 3,000 to 1 outnumber. We outnumber them by that margin. Um, we've just fabricated a claim on South Crackclaw Point, which is the territory in purple just to the north of here, um, which is fantastic. So that looks like it will be our next conflict after this one. Now, our left flank has routed, but... I think it was probably very weak indeed, judging by how 10,000 of our men remain in the other two flanks. Uh, there we go, so we lost 2,500 men, which is quite a lot, but we did take out twice as many, more than that, in fact. Uh, so now we have 64% war score, and probably the best way to round this off would just be to chase down that army while its morale is low, take very few losses from that, and uh, yeah, just continues to chase them through the various territories. Uh, now there is going to be a small wait between uh, the, this uh, this fight. For unfortunately, <laughs> the Iron Islands have sent 68 men to um, to reinforce their other troops, who seem to be running away due to the fact that there's a large army heading for them, which is wise. We have another 16 men reinforcing us from uh, Adadel or Faring Cross. No, it'd be from Adadel, I think. Uh, 16 whole men, which you kind of wonder why they bothered to send that many, but. Uh, fair enough. Oh, we have some, uh, we have some reinforcements from Faring Cross attacking, uh, attacking as well. I didn't realise that we'd have any of those with us, but there you go. They seem to have landed another thousand men on the shore. I'm not sure when that happened or how. Uh, but in the meantime, we've taken down about two thousand of their men. Yeah, there we go. 
and we've lost like a quarter of that many number. Um, so now they're heading to Wendwater. We're going to stick with the larger force for now because the force on Sharp Point doesn't really have anywhere to go. Um, so we may as well finish this one off, and then if we still need to, we'll finish the other one off. What's essentially happened here is that I've crippled the Iron Islanders' uh, army for the sake of a very small territory on the end of Stone Dance. But then again, they were the ones who resisted, and also the ones who stole it from me, the scumbags, so there you go. I don't feel too bad about it. Plus, Iron Islanders are just generally jerks, like all of them. Set maybe Asher, but still kind of a jerk. Uh, so there we go, 945 there, and loss of 20. This is the most efficient way to be pursuing victory, really. Lord Medic of the Reach seems to be aging somewhat, and he's also ill. Hopefully he'll die soon, and maybe, I don't know. Yes, actually, that would be perfect if he were to die, because he has a, a child who is due to inherit from him. Uh, so with any luck, it'll pass on to, to someone who's not ready to take over the role of, of controlling the Stormlands and the Reach. They will have... Oh, okay. Um, Stannis the Third has become a craven uh, from from that fight against a very small number of men, and it's affected our ability to lead militarily. That's really annoying, because uh, we'll lose men uh, in terms of that our levies will be smaller. We've just wiped out that smaller force of Iron Islanders, and I have a feeling a victory against this larger force will seal victory in the battle, uh, in the war, in fact, for Sharp Point. Now, they look to be marching on Stone Dance. Oh, but never mind. They, they were marching on Stone Dance as we were marching on Sharp Point. I was hoping that they would just carry on and we would get the territory advantage as well, but uh, I hope we don't trade positions, that would be illogical and somewhat comical. Nope, we're just uh, attacking them where they are. Uh, hopefully through excessive exposure to conflict we'll be able to cure Stannis of his fear of fighting. Uh, we have 98% war score now. There is, I think the Iron Islanders just sent more men via boat to, to there. Um, not really sure. But, yes, uh, our 16, our reinforcements of 16 should be able to take care of that. My goodness, this will be a battle for the ages. Oh, wow. Uh, so, I suppose we can just hang on and uh, capture Sharp Point, which is probably the most symbolic way in which to win this war so decisively. Um, I'm pretty sure Donald Greyjoy is wishing he hadn't invested so many troops into this conflict now. Because if there's any kind of uprising, which there seems to be every 20 minutes in the uh, in the Iron Islands, then he's not got an awful lot to protect himself with. Uh, sure enough, my reinforcements did win that battle. Uh, there are 12 of them remaining. Oh, they might have a <laughs> slightly larger challenge with those 293 men. And sure enough, they did. Uh, as you can tell, he's scraping the bottle of the barrel. Bottle of the barrel? He's scraping the bottom of the barrel with the uh, with the number of troops he's sending to us now. You do wonder why he's so willfully just throwing uh, more men to die when the war score is at 98% and I have just 10,000 men camped on the shore. So you can see there, it's a strange way of showing it, but because it's sort of a mixed form, so it's like 24.4% out of 1.0 for their morale, but essentially uh, what it means is every 12 days they're losing 8.4% morale, and when that reaches zero, I will capture a sharp point. Interestingly enough, the number of defenders doesn't really seem to go down over time, even though it's a siege situation, and they should be starving to death in some numbers, if not, but not all of them. They tend to surrender before then, but still. Um, in any case, Sharp Point should be ours soon, and we will have won this war. Quite pleased with how it's all gone. Uh, shall I rub it in his face? Probably not. Hmm... Tempting. Yeah, okay, I'll rub it in his face. Okay, so we've captured Sharp Point. Uh, oh, we've lost some troops uh, besieging the second territory there, but uh, the important thing is that we've won the war. We can send a message to him, and now Sharp Point is ours. Oh, goodness, I've just realized that um, when I lowered my troops, I just did it where they were again. Good. I do listen to advice, it's just I very often fail to recall it at the appropriate time. 
My apologies to the kindly YouTube user who uh, suggested that I lower my troops in the correct provinces so as not to hamper this whole process. It was very good advice. I just <coughs> failed to follow it. Now we're marrying off our brother to Lady Joy of the Westerlands there. So hopefully we'll have some allies in House Frey uh, to a degree. House Frey being the uh, the Lords of the Westerlands in this scenario. Uh, so now we own Sharp Point. It's probably a rather negligible acquisition in comparison to Dawn, which we recently got. Oh dear, my Sir Barristan or Septon or whatever has died. That is a shame. We're going to have to get a new Meister. There's still that bug with the uh, with the Met Council screen there. I think it's because they added one more uh, roll. I'm not certain. It's not a major deal, I don't mind it, but it's uh, it's something that I, I always remember being in this mod. Mm -hmm.